come a time when we'll drown Dude, it's gotta be who gives a shit about us. Yeah. Alright, let's do take no, two. You can't. You, no, you can't. Take, take two. two. No, let's take two. Ready? Yes. Go. Take two. I mean, why are they doing a movie on us, you know? We're just random people. Who's gonna give a shit? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Was that good? Or... Yeah, that's good. Here we go, ready? How did you get to living here? I have no idea. I, have, I can't remember at all. <laughs> I have no clue. I had a shitty apartment down on Knox Road, and we were moving out. I wasn't sure where I was going to live. I had a bunch of different ideas, and it just so happened that a room was opening up here. I asked my brother Manny, and uh, he had a couple of friends that were uh, all musicians, and we kind of were thinking it would be best to have a house of musicians. That way no one would ever really mind if we were rehearsing with bands and whatnot. And that gives the house definitely a unique atmosphere, but being a musician, you know, I feel like 90% of the time I'm surrounded by musicians anyway. So like when I meet people who don't play music, it's almost like, whoa, what do you do with yourself, you know, because just everyone I know plays music. I'm also such a fan of music that, you know, you end up listening to people all the time. And I'd say the most progress that I've made personally as a musician, just, you know, technical, technical ability was when I was living with people who didn't really play that much because I would just hold myself up in my room and like practice all day and all night. You know, would miss class the next morning if I was in a zone practicing. I can't say that's really happened here, but uh, that's not a bad thing because, you know, playing music with other people is what it's all about anyway. The state of cleanliness has varied quite a bit since we've been here. Um, you know, I think most houses start off well. Well, it actually didn't start off well, I'll take that back. It started off pretty poorly because as we transitioned in, um, there was never a full cleaning job done by the landlord, so we sort of inherited a rat hole. Our house is pretty much a rat hole. We've had so many huge parties, and so generally it'll be clean up to that day. And then nobody will even want to set foot in the house for about a week. This last party that we had here, um, someone puked on that couch right there, on the cushion, and uh, you know, someone comes running up to Manny and they're like, Manny, Manny, you know, my friend just puked on the couch. What am I supposed to do? And Manny just, you know, walks over to the couch and he looks at it and he's like, and just turns the cushion over. Whatever, this house has definitely lowered my, um, or raised my threshold of like tolerance for dirtiness. So I guess it's good because it's made me a little less um, uptight about it. So there's still a little vomit on the floor over there. How would you rank the household from cleanest to dirtiest person? I'm gonna have to go with Tom on that one. Tom's definitely the biggest slob in the house. Tom is by far the dirtiest. That dude goes around this house like he still thinks his mom is behind him 24 hours a day. Unfortunately, she's not, so cupboards are always open, the milk's out, the dishes are out, nothing's cleaned up, there's roaches, there's ants, there's cans. You see bowls of like cereal that have been sitting there for three days and you know, pasta that has mold on it in the living room or something. It's a disaster. But you can't confront Tom about anything, because I'll deny it until he dies. In terms of Blaine, I feel like most of it should rest on my shoulders. So we don't usually tell him that. Um, but other than Tom, Rob's the clean freak, hands down. He, uh, he's had a couple issues with uh, living with us, I think. Um, me and Risha are sort of the neutral ground. You know, we, we do just enough to cover our asses. No one's usually on our back. We sort of absolve ourselves from any responsibility for the most part. And uh, Charlie won't clean, but he'll fucking Scream your face off if you need to clean. And I get real upset when I see food sitting out. Especially food, like a, like a glass isn't so bad, but when food's rotten, that kind of bugs me out. So nobody wants to deal with Charlie's wrap. Charlie's down in the throat, you're gonna clean some shit up. That's just how it is. But you know, normally we would clean it up, but you know, since we're so close to moving out, we were just like, hey, we'll let the vomit mellow and it'll be part of this house. You know, and it might be the only mark that we've left here, but damn it, it will be something. But you know, it's not somewhere where you want to bring your parents or <laughs> your girlfriend. <laughs> and then she's cool. Yeah, that's, that's that. <laughs> <laughs>